Let's take a look at evaluating functions using the direct method. This is where we use direct substitution. Okay. So we've got f of x is equal to 3x minus 4. And we want to find f of 2. Okay. Well, on your calculator, if you're not here at this menu, you can press your apps to get here. But we'll go into function, so do enter on that. In our function symbolic view, uh, see how this says f1 of x? We're going to put in 3x minus 4. And then press enter. Now, what we're really looking at is they're saying this is f1 of x is equal to 3x minus 4. So we're going to find instead of f of 2, we'll find f1 of 2. So just different uh, notation for our function. Now, um, we got that entered in. If I go to my home here, and let me up arrow and press delete a few times clear all that out. So we've got a clean slate. There we go. Um, now we want to uh, access F1. And we can do that under the VARS option. So if I choose VARS, then you see there's a function and, and different ones there. If I press right arrow here, you see results, uh, symbolic. Um, come down to symbolic. You see how you got F7 through F0. Or we're wanting F1. So we can down arrow to F1 and press enter on it and then I'll do my parentheses and then I'll put 2 in there and then press enter so that tells us that this is going to be equal to 2 now let's say I had a different one I want to plug 6 in there now evaluate that for 6 well again we go to our VARs uh, we're under function so I'll do a right arrow key we want symbolic now I can down arrow to symbolic and, and do a right arrow or see how there's a number in front of it? I can press the 2 and it does it for me. Now I want the F1 and you see there's a 1 in the upper left hand corner. So I press the 1 and then I do my parentheses, 6, and press enter. And that gives us 14. Because if I put 6 in for X, 3 times 6 is 18, 18 minus 4 is 14. Now that's our first example. And this is uh, exactly how we evaluate it by hand, is how you think about it. Um, so it works very well with the um, student learning, I think. Uh, so we've got f of x is equal to x squared minus 4. And x plus 3. And we're wanting to find f of 7. Now again, instead of f of x, we're going to put in into f1. So we're going to have f of f1 of x is equal to x squared minus 4 over x plus 3 and then we're going to want to find f of one, f1 one of 7. Now the trick to um, plugging any fraction in your calculator is if you have more than a single number or single variable on top or bottom, put parentheses around that part. So put parentheses around top, parentheses around the bottom. Sometimes you don't need that, but that's always good practice to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my symbol. So I click my symbol. I'll press my uh, delete to clean that out. I'll do my parentheses. And then I'll do my x squared. So x key, x squared, minus 4. My cursor is right after the 4. I'll press the right arrow key to get my cursor out of the parentheses. Then divide it by, and I push my parentheses, and then x plus 3. And then I'll press enter. So now we have stored that function in F1. So let's go to our home. So I press home. And we want to find F1 of 7. So I go to my VARs. I'm under function. So I just do a right arrow key. And I want to choose symbolic. So I press the 2 that's in front of it. And I want to choose F1, uh, which is 1. Is that up left hand corner? And I'll do my parentheses, 7, and then enter. Now you see we get 4.5. Now, we don't want decimal. We want the exact answers if we can. Uh, so I'll press my fraction, and you see it gives me 9 halves. 4.5 is actually an exact answer, but uh, other problems would have rounding issues if we tried to try to use the decimal. So again, we want fraction form. Now, on our calculator, I got 9 halves. If I press my fraction button again, 
it puts it in mixed number form, which is four and a half. So it depends on which form you want. Each time you press this fraction button, it flips back and forth between the different forms. Now that's evaluating functions um, using the direct method on HP Prime 